we're going to cover today is three elements of what I believe is really, really important in a sales environment. First of all, what goes on in your head. Secondly, what goes on in the heads of your customers and prospects. And thirdly, some really practical <coughs> things that you can do to make sure that when you leave here today, you will have an idea and a sense and even a plan of the things that you need to be doing daily, weekly and monthly in order to have the best possible chance of converting what comes into your business into sales and really getting the rapport so that you've got the best chance of conversion. My mission today is to make sure that you leave here really motivated and inspired to take some action after you leave here. Anything will do, any action, as long as you do something different. Because if you're not getting the results that you want in your business right now in terms <coughs> of sales, then that means you need to make some changes. Even if you're getting quite good results and you want great results, you still need to make some changes. Because if you carry on doing what you're already doing, then you'll get the same results as you've been getting. I want you to be thinking about where the pains are in your particular situation. I want you to really think, what is not right? What is causing me angst? What is stopping me from sleeping at night? Whatever it is for you, to whatever level you're at, I want you to think what that is. And then I want you to be thinking about your outcome for today. My mission, it, it, I would say my mission in life, and probably has always been, and I've probably only articulated it in recent, recent years, is that I want to give every person the ability and the confidence to sell themselves, sell their ideas, sell their products or services in a really powerful and dynamic way, yet that's completely natural for you in your style of personality. So for those of you that think there's a stereotype individual who is going to be great at sales, <coughs> it absolutely is not the case. The best salespeople are the ones that are completely natural and congruent in their own skin. So all of the stuff I'm going to share with you today, I want you to take it as a framework I'm going to give you some strategies and I'll tell you the way that I use the strategies and how some of our clients use the strategies. But as long as you stick within the framework of the strategy, I want you to really impose your personality and the passion that you already feel for your business into the passion for helping others. Because if I'm right, Based on my experience of meeting business owners especially, um, there is a passion for what you do. You love what you do and you're passionate about taking that to the world and helping and in some way another person or a group of people have a, either a better quality of life or to achieve things more easily or to take away some pain from those other people. And if you're in a sales role, that's exactly the same, even if it's not your company. You know, before I even owned my own business, my mission was to go out and help people with the services that my company provided. And I, that was absolutely my driving force. And so what I want you to consider all through today is that you think about the reason that you're actually doing what you're doing. You know, what it does for you and more importantly, what it's going to do for others. Because unless you master the art of selling, all those people in the world that you are destined to help, that's your destiny to help them, are not going to get your help. Now that would be really sad. It would be really sad because I know many, many talented people who are not successful because they haven't mastered the art of connecting with others in a way that makes them want to buy. 
And that raises a really interesting point. I'm going to tell you to stop selling today. All right? So I'm going to tell you to stop selling so you can all breathe a sigh of relief. Yeah, I'm going to give you some really great techniques <coughs> that actually encourages people to want to buy from you rather than you having to pitch. <laughs>